Welcome to Slovakia, where our chess academy is located in Bratislava, the capital of this beautiful country. We do uh, chess in schools, we do trainings for chess coaches, we do a lot of chess tournaments and we do also chess events, special events uh, to promote this lovely game. Let me take you on a journey to show you how we work with, uh, with schools and kids and Martin on the picture will show you some beautiful events we did in the past. How to successfully run a chess class at a school? And uh, let's what to do with kids when we have them in one room. But the key question is for us, obviously, how do we know that we did it right? How do we know that we did a great job? When we open the door at the school, there are four groups of people. There are us as uh, chess coaches, and we want to teach kids uh, to learn some chess basics, maybe some tactics, some strategy. There is also a school management. From my experience, when you uh, go to director of the school, the magic sentence is, give us just one room and we do all the things, all the management around it, and you don't have to do anything and you will win. The third group are parents. The most important thing for parents is security of their child. Uh, sure, the, the parents that uh, their kids are really in a safe environment and at a safe, safe place. And uh, the four group are kids. They want to play, they want to learn something new, they want to find new friends. It's on us as coaches to mix it all together and uh, find some balance of all of these expectations. When we set up the class, there are two key features we should definitely follow. The first one is regularity. Doesn't matter how you feel, doesn't matter how bad your day was, doesn't matter what the weather like is, every single week you should go to the school and be with the kids. And more important than to teach them some, some chess rules or tactics is to inspire them. Inspire for a chess game. Believe me, if you do that, it will be much, much more easier for the future, for kids and for you to learn a chess. So what to do with kids in the class? And, what, and it costs us uh, zero, zero costs. Uh, us as a teachers or tra coaches, uh, sometimes we imagine that uh, kids will be sitting in front of each other quietly and for 60 minutes playing a game. But as far as we know, it's not always like that. So what can we do when the situation is different and uh, we would like to inspire them for a chess game? Why don't we take a chalk and uh, create them like chess Picasso competition, they can draw uh, nice pictures on the blackboard and it's a big fan. Uh, we can also use demonstration board, but not only for playing a game, but kids can sit around the demonstration board and solving some puzzles, creating uh, pictures, whatever they want. They are, they are cooperating with each other and have fun. Don't worry if you don't have demonstration board. You can use a regular one and kids can sit around the table, around the board, and you can do the same activities as with the demonstration board. Sometimes it happens that one board, chess board, is not good enough. Why don't we use or put eight of them on the floor and create a big chess game? Or as far as we know, kids like to move all the time, like me, for example, now. Uh, so put aside the chairs and kids can uh, walk around the table and play a game of chess, obviously. Sometimes happens that kids come to you and they want to create their own game. Support them, uh, put some chess rules inside them and kids will be happy because they create their own game uh, which can they play and they will be very, very excited about it. And uh, when the sun comes up and the weather is very nice outside, uh, why don't we play a chess outside next, for example, of the football 
stadium. After we finish the class or the semester or the, or, or the year, uh, don't hesitate uh, on, or don't be shy to ask kids for a feedback. There are many ways how to do it. Uh, you can simply just uh, kids put a chess piece on the, on the blackboard. I like it or I dislike it. But the most important question comes when you lock the door and kids meet their parents. Because parents ask them, how did you like the chess? How did you like the class? And I wish all of you that always the answer of the kids will be yes. Don't forget, have fun and enjoy it. Thank you.